In this video, let's learn about the openings of the diaphragm. The diaphragm. It is a thin skeletal muscle that sits at the base of the thorax and it separates the abdomen from the thorax. So diaphragm is a muscle that is present at the outlet of the thorax or the base of the thorax. The diaphragm is made up of muscles and tendon. So this is the muscular part and this green color is the tendinous part. So it is a large musculotendinous structure. So this is also called as thoracoabdominal diaphragm. So now let us know about the openings of the diaphragm. There are three large openings and several small openings in the diaphragm. These openings allow these structures to pass from the thorax to the abdomen and from the abdomen to the thorax. Let's talk about the large openings first. So these large openings are three in number. The first opening is the vena caval opening. The second opening is of the esophagus. And the third one is the iota that passes from thorax to abdomen to become the abdominal iota. So the large openings can be remembered by a mnemonic VOA. I remember it as the voice of Asia. So in this diagram, this is the opening for the esophagus. So this is the esophagus. This is the inferior vena cava and the aortic opening. This is the aorta. The vena cava opening is situated at the T8 level. This is the right sided junction of the central tendon and the aortic opening lies here. The shape of the aortic opening is quadrilateral and through this vena cava opening the right phrenic nerve in the lymphatics of the liver also passes. So this is the right phrenic nerve and the liver lymphatics. Now coming to the esophageal opening, this opening is the esophageal opening. It is present at the T10 vertebrae level and the shape of this opening is elliptical. And the structures that pass through this opening are the esophagus, both the vagal trunks. This is the left vagus and this is the right vagus. And the left gastric vessels also accompany the esophagus in the esophageal opening of this diaphragm. And the third large opening is the aortic opening which opens at the T12 vertebrae level behind to the median arcuate ligament. So the median arcuate ligament lies somewhere here and this aortic opening lies behind to the median arcuate ligament. So this is the median arcuate ligament. And this opening is round in shape and the structures that accompany the iota in this aortic opening is the thoracic duct. So this is the thoracic duct and the azygous vein. This is the azygous vein. For the video of thoracic duct, you can click on the I button. So these three are the large openings of the esophagus, the vena cava, esophagus and the iota. The vena cava opens at T8 vertebrae level, the esophagus opens at the T10 level and the iota opens at T12 vertebrae level. And remember the mnemonic VOA. Now coming to the small openings of the diaphragm, there are several small openings. The superior epigastric vessels. So these are the openings for the superior epigastric vessels. The musculophrenic artery, the lower five intercostal vessels and nerves, subcostal vessels and nerves, sympathetic trunk, greater and lesser splanchnic nerves and the left phrenic nerve. So the small openings are present for these following structures. The superior epigastric vessels are here. So this opening is for the superior epigastric vessels. These passes in the space of the larry that is present between the slip of the xiphoid process above and the seventh coastal cartilaginous slip of the diaphragm. 
and the musculophrenic artery. It pierces the diaphragm at the level of the 9th costal cartilage. The superior epigastric vessels are at the 7th costal cartilage and the musculophrenic artery pierces the diaphragm at the 9th costal cartilage level. The lower 5 intercostal vessels and the nerves, they pass between the costal origins of the diaphragm and the transverse abdominis muscle. The subcostal vessels and the nerves pass behind to the lateral arcuate ligament. So these are the subcostal vessels, ligament is the lateral arcuate ligament. The sympathetic trunk passes below to the medial arcuate ligament. So this is the medial arcuate ligament and this is the sympathetic trunk. Don't get confused of the parts of the arcuate ligament. This part that lies above to the opening of the iota, median arcuate ligament, the part that is beside of the crust of the diaphragm are the medial. So this part is the medial and the lateral most part of the arcuate ligament is the lateral arcuate ligament. And the sympathetic trunk passes below to the medial arcuate ligament. The greater and the lesser splanchnic nerves pierces the each crust of diaphragm. So these are the right and left crust of the diaphragm. And you can note the greater and the lesser splanchnic nerves here. This is the right crust of the diaphragm and the left crust of the diaphragm. The left phrenic nerve pierces the left cupola. So guys, this is all about the openings of the diaphragm. There are three large openings and several small openings of the diaphragm. The diaphragm or the thoracoabdominal diaphragm is a musculotendinous structure which separates the upper thoracic cavity by the lower abdominal cavity. So guys, this is all about the structures that pierces the diaphragm. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and do check on my recent videos and playlists.